Our first example is in the Advancing Workflows pillar. These projects focus on improving systems workflow processes to ensure that partners can activate, achieve their impact goals more effectively. Today, we've invited our collaborator from the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, Mr. John Wayne, to share a few of his thoughts. Next slide, please. John is UNHCR's Senior Shelter and Non-Food Item Cluster Coordinator in Yemen, where I believe he's joining us from today. Welcome, Joanne, the floor is yours. Thanks, Meliniana. Hope you can hear me well. Yes. Um, great. Uh, good evening from Sana and Yemen. Um, UNHCR was sponsored by the Autodesk Foundation for support with operationalization of an integrated settlement spatial planning framework. We call this the master plan approach. Specific technical needs involved working with field-based technical experts in nine operations to develop a minimum package of basic information to inform an integrated settlement master plan. The project focused on the delivery of settlement planning tools and templates as a key component for operationalizing our integrated settlement planning framework. The role entailed close collaboration with multi-sectoral colleagues across nine operations. It also involved working with our colleagues in the technical support section, which is a multi-sectoral section, and that included colleagues from energy, environment, which is becoming crucially important in settlement planning issues, and water and sanitation. The outcome of this collaboration was the delivery of an enhanced and practical settlement tools and templates, which are now available to guide technical colleagues in the field when developing settlement plans, ensuring an improved quality of life for millions of people living in settlements and camp -like situations throughout the world. The fellow that worked with us this summer, uh, Ms. Dima Abu Harida, was absolutely the right pick for the job. We really appreciated Engineering for Change identifying Dima to work on this project because she brought the correct balance of the necessary technical competence. She is an architect and an urban planner. She also brought enhanced skills working with AutoCAD and other technical tools, which is absolutely invaluable as we capacity build colleagues throughout the world to be able to use such important tools. Um, Dima also brought with her um, immense enthusiasm. Um, she is from Jordan and she has done research work in refugee camps uh, in Jordan herself. You might know that we have Zatri, which is, which is a very good example. So um, it's great pleasure for me to hand you over to Dima herself, who will describe some of this work. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, John. Uh, my name is Dima. I'm originally from Jordan and currently I'm a PhD candidate of architecture at Penn State University, focused on the social and spatial planning of refugee camps in the Middle East with concentration on computational planning techniques. I was very excited to get selected for this project because it was very much aligned with my research work on refugee camps and on refugee camps and also with my career goals to become a professional in this field. This project helped me closely learn about the institutional efforts to enhance the refugee settlements and advance the quality of life for persons of concern. I particularly appreciated the opportunity to continue developing my skills and working remotely with a multidisciplinary and multinational team. In addition to developing my uh, written and oral communication skills as well as my technical skills and utilizing um, the multiple Autodesk applications in the humanitarian field. And in five years, I hope to successfully have my PhD research on refugee camps completed and become an experienced professional in the development engineering field. I hope that I would be able to work in my home country, Jordan, or in other regions in the world where humanitarian services are needed. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, John and Dima. 